In case you miss it, here's a sports animal rewind. New Sentinel Sports page brought to you by Image Matters on the Sports Animal, sportsanimal99.com on the Sports Animal app and on iHeartRadio on that app as well, wherever you listen to us. How about we talk to former Tennessee wide receiver now with the Tennessee Titans at the game-winning touchdown catch in the win over the San Diego Chargers, sporting number 15 for the Tennessee Titans. Rookie Justin Hunter joins us here on the New Sentinel Sports page. Hey, Justin, it's Vince Ferraro from the New Sentinel Sports page here in Knoxville. How you doing, Justin? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm different as life this week as opposed to last week after after that TD catch in the wind. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's, a little easier. it's getting a little easier for me uh, now. I hate that catch. So, you know, people are, are showing that they have confidence in me and everything. So I'm getting a lot more ball in practice and everything now. Take us through that play. What was the call? Were you the primary receiver, the number one option for Jake? Kind of take us through that play. Well, before the play, I heard Jake wanted me in the game. So, you know, um, well, we had ran all goals and everything. So put me in. I guess he liked what he seen on my side, and he chose he chose me to be the primary target. Take us through the catch, what you were thinking when you're in the air. I mean, level of confidence, things like that, because that's your one NFL catch and your first. Yeah, uh, first, I didn't even think it was coming to me really, just because of the way they were playing, and you know, I took off and I climbed up on them, and uh, I had a fight for position. I just, got, I guess, I just out, out jumped them. Now, Justin, what's been the feedback since then? Uh, just saying, good job, you know. Um, and they expect that from me every time now. You know, it's not just a one-time thing. They expect that from me every time. In order to come through in that situation, you had to be still very confident in your ability. Has that been tough to stay confident and wait for that opportunity in that moment? Oh, no, because, you know, I have a, have a coach that's on me like that. And so um, the confidence is never, is never left. You know, he's going he's gonna to make sure I get it. Now, you mentioned your coach, your wide receiver coach is Sean Jefferson. He's a super intense guy, as you well know. Give me an example of some tough coaching in the NFL from Sean Jefferson. Ooh. Well, definitely uh, tired. being tired is not an option. So, you know, if you're dead, dog tired, you still have to be able to go. Um, you know, being a rookie, you have to be able to do everything. So you have to take a lot more reps and one-on-ones. Uh, a lot more reps and scout team. You know, you, it doesn't matter where you're drafted. You draft the first round. He's gonna make you do scout team, all the scout team. So you know, he's hard on you, and you know, he just he, he just want to coach you like you're the greatest. Is the NFL not as sympathetic to being hurt or injured as colleges? Uh, I think it's a lot more injuries in the um, NFL more than it's in college. You just got to be able to take care of your body. We're visiting with former Tennessee wide receiver Justin Hunter, now a rookie with the Tennessee Titans, a second-round draft pick of the Titans. Justin Hunter, of course, a terrific career at Tennessee, which we'll talk about in just a moment with 28 games, 106 catches, and 18 touchdowns in his time at Tennessee. And Vince Ferrara here on the new Central Sports page in Knoxville. Was there any time where you thought, I wonder what things would have been like if I was back at Tennessee? Did that cross your mind at all? No, 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 no. no I, I, felt like, I felt like I made the uh, right decision to coming out. You know, um, you know, I just want to be patient and wait for my time. What's Jake Locker been to to work with and trying to get that chemistry with him? Uh, he's been very demanding. You know, he wants everything to be on point. So you know, if I do something wrong, I'm proud to say, pull me to the side. Let's get this down. And you know, you have to feel like he's a great leader of the offense. And, you know, he takes command of his line and the whole uh, offense too. Justin, we heard that you were going to do something special with that game ball you got for that cat. What did you do with that football? Um, I'm sending it to my mom, you know, uh, I told her after the fact, I wasn't going to tell her, but I ended up telling her I'm going to send it to her, my first one. Awesome. You're wearing number 15. You were number 11 at Tennessee. Did you try to obtain that number 11? Did you lobby for it or how no. come 15? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, just, just because, uh, 15 was open and I heard rumors like if you wanted the number, uh, in the NFL, you might have to do something for it, like pay for it or something like that. And when I heard the prices, like, the options, the prices, I was like, nah, you know, I just get a new number and just make the best of it. We're visiting with Justin Hunter, the Tennessee Titans here on the new Sentinel Sports page. You've been on Twitter, by the way, it's at Justin Hunter underscore 11, but you've been on Twitter. You supported your guys at Tennessee this year with Butch Jones. What do you think of Butch Jones, Justin? I think he's a great coach. You see, uh, you, def- you definitely see the, um, the things he's doing with the school. Uh, like top five and uh, recruiting for next year, and you know he's he's lost uh, a couple of good guys. You know me, Michael Rivera, Zach Rogers, Tyler Brady, and Cordell Patterson on offense. 
and you know he's is uh, trying to fill in the pieces. So you know it's a rebuilding stage for our organization. So there's a lot of youth at the wide receiver position. There's turnover and struggling at the quarterback position. How important is that chemistry with those two units? It is uh, really important. You know, me and uh, Tyler had to get on the same page from the get go our freshman year. So you know, working with each other. But I think that's that's really what it has to come down to. You know, chemistry. You have to stay after practice a little bit longer, okay. uh, just hanging out with the quarterback and everything, just to get it down. Justin, who are some of the guys that you're still keeping in touch with? Um, every, well, basically, you know, me, Tyler Cordell, uh, Durant. You know, Tyler just called me the other day. I was talking about when he comes down here uh, to play us and we play the Chiefs. So you know, just to hang out and have dinner. So, you know, we all keep in touch. You know, we're all big friends. The guys that are on Butch Jones' squad here this year that are still behind and playing on this year's team, do you stay in touch with a lot of those guys? Yeah, uh, yeah, Juwan James, Tony Richardson, uh, my roommate, Rajon Neal, you know, I always, uh, I talk to him the most, you know, because we were roommates and everything. So, you know, I uh, get the full uh, one-on-one, what's going on and everything all the time. How much SEC pride have you found in the NFL? It's a lot. You know, a lot of uh, former players still rep the old schools and everything. We're always talking about it, uh, especially on Saturdays when our teams are playing. So, you know, we love our uh, SC schools. I bet you can't wait for Tennessee to get back to where they belong and sport that orange with pride and something to brag about, right? I'm, all, I'm always going to wear the orange no matter what. You know, <laughs> we're going to have an 0-12 season. I'm still going to wear my orange. Arian Foster, he had comments saying that when he was at Tennessee, he took money, and that a lot of the guys felt like, hey, look, the stadium's packed. Everybody's making money except for us who are out there playing. Did you or any of your teammates ever feel like, wow, everybody's making money except for me? Nah, nah, nah. I feel like all of us players were grounded, so you know. But you guys, you never felt like, hey, where am I going to get a meal from? You never felt like you were starving and a way to, to even eat on a on a Sunday afternoon or anything like that? Nah, uh, definitely felt like um, we had Gibbs Hall, so you know, definitely felt like that was my number one place to get food from. And definitely, uh, you know, the, the, the money we get after the game, uh, for like vouchers and all that, you know, it was, it was cool. You know, I had no problem with it. So what's next? What are the coaches telling you about your role moving forward with the Titans? Uh, definitely keep, keep working hard and practice and my door opportunity will show itself. Justin, we appreciate it. Congratulations on that game winning catch and early success. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. That's Justin Hunter joining us at the Tennessee Titans number 15 rookie for the Titans and former Tennessee wide receiver. I'm Vince Ferrar. It's a new Sentinel Sports page brought to you by Image Matters on the Sports Animal.